In the last videos, we have learned about Ansible variables like uh, group variables, extra variables, uh, arrays, uh, all those items. So in this video, we will learn something more, something uh, more important item, which is called uh, secrets in Ansible. So why we need to handle uh, secrets in Ansible? So there are several use cases like uh, we need to handle some information, sensitive information like username, passwords, API tokens, or some uh, cluster details, or some credential. All these details you cannot simply handle inside a normal variable because it will be exposed to everyone uh, or you cannot simply push to a, your git repository like that. So in Ansible, we have a simple method for this which is called uh, Ansible Vault. So this Ansible Vault is already in, included in, say in the Ansible installation and you don't need to install it separately. Uh, so the usage is very simple you can encrypt uh, you can decrypt edit or create uh, all those operations are possible using ansible vault command so we will go through the demo first and uh, if you have any question you can ask in the comment box later so the first thing is like um, let's say i want to install uh, sorry i want to create a uh, file with sensitive data so i am using ansible vault for that one so here i want to create a new file with the vault so i will create like ansible vault then i put create secret or something like uh, okay maybe we can use secret secret data dot yaml so ansible will ask you for the vault password Please remember you have to remember this password it's like any other any other password so this is the vault password and simple vault will use so i'm i'm just entering ansible i can use any variable so now ansible vault will ask you it will open in the default editor like let's say in my case it's a vim editor so i am just entering uh, some items like password um maybe VMware password admin123 okay uh, so I just added one variable inside and I enter the value so this is admin123 so I am just saving as like any other editor in my case it's a Vim editor so you, I just saving now we will check what is inside See, it's already encrypted with AES-256. So this is how Ansible will create the encrypted file in Ansible. So what, what if you want to see the content of the file? So we can use the same command Ansible vault. Then you can use view and I'm using secret data. Then it will ask you for the same password. So I enter the password so it will show you the content of that file simple right now let's say i want to edit this file let's say i want to uh, edit the password something else or something i want to add new variable inside this uh, secret file so you, you you have two options either you can decrypt this file and edit this or you can directly edit using ansible vault so okay before that maybe let's say if i want to try direct edit so vim secret data so it will open like this you cannot edit right this is already encrypted so we are going to use like ansible vault edit secret data so it will ask you for the same password i enter so it's open in the new open in the same vim editor so i put like a vmware token for, this is for example so my token I'm saving this one again I want to see the content I uh, enter the password so you can see the content inside. so it's just like a normal file but it's encrypted by Ansible vault okay so these are the basic operations you can create you can edit you can view all these operations is possible using ansible vault 
what if I want to uh, something like uh, decrypt the file because I, I want to uh, modify a lot of things or something like I don't want to keep it uh, as an encrypted format so you can use the command ansible vault decrypt and the file name so it will ask you for the password okay decryption successful so I just simple right so it will just decrypt the file to a normal text file or whatever the format so in our case this is a normal text file inside we have two variables with the values so it's already decrypted what if I, I have uh, I want to encrypt again so we have the same command ansible vault encrypt secret so it will ask you for the password so this is a new vault password because we are going to encrypt it again so I am going to give the same ansible as password now we try content so it's already encrypted again okay so two more operations one is a decrypt and encrypt you can encrypt an existing file you don't need to create a new file you can uh, encrypt an existing file as well and one more operation is the changing the password let's say uh, uh, this password is already compromised or something or so many engineers or users are sharing this password I want to edit the password or I want to change the password of this encryption so you have a command okay maybe you have a command here so ansible vault rekey and the file name so it will ask you for the password so password is ansible so it will ask you for the new vault password so I am telling password password okay Reiki successful uh, so I try the content it's already encrypted again but with a new password which is a password okay uh, so these are the basic operations like um, creating deleting encrypting or uh, decrypting then change the encryption password uh, which is called a Reiki uh yeah this kind of operation so please remember these operations and um, this will be useful for you later when you want to keep uh, sensitive information in ansible so uh, you will learn something more about this uh, ansible vault and you will learn how to use this encrypted data inside your playbook in the next video so uh, if you have any questions please ask in the comment box and uh, please remember to subscribe to this youtube channel to get all the latest videos thank you for watching see you next time with another video